Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please, I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, Project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted, in which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. 
Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. Revelia. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Rebellion. Incendio. Lumos. Confringo. This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Incendio! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Lumos.
Revelio. Confringo. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Ah. Rebellia. Lumos. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Confringo! Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. Confringo! Lumos. Rebellia. Lumos. Incendio! Have you found anything to, uh, prove? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. 
must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show Everett how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you.